and you want to be them you want to fit in you want to you want life to be easy you want everything to be easy no matter how much you try you want everything to be easy and it's not it's really not hey guys what's going on it's you here welcome back to another video in today's video we're doing a bit of an adhd talk today we are talking about imposter syndrome and my experience of imposter syndrome with adhd i'm making this video for other people to understand how i feel with this syndrome and also to come to terms on how to deal with it for and also for other people who mind like me would but also for all also for other people to understand it and hopefully to realize that it's it imposter syndrome it, it's one of the most messed up confusing mind boggling syndromes that you can face and definitely with ADHD it becomes a lot harder because you're already trying to battle the world you're already already trying to battle your brain and trying to think normal but then along comes this imposter and you constantly feel like a fraud to the world imposter syndrome is basically a syndrome on where you feel like you just don't fit in it's a psych it's a psychological pattern in which an individual doubts their skills talents or compliments so i've dealt with imposter syndrome all my life all my entire life and i've always felt like i just don't fit in i can sit in a classroom and i can do my work and i can pretend i can mask but i don't fit in and i know i don't fit in i generally feel like an imposter to the whole entire world at times youtube is one of these problems that i face okay I can easily go around and tell people the how successful I'm being on YouTube, how YouTube is the career path that I've chosen, YouTube is, you know, YouTube is everything to me, YouTube is making me rich and famous and all this kind of stuff, but I'm lying, I'm lying to myself, I'm lying to other people because I don't tell people the struggles, I don't tell people the challenges that I face onto YouTube, I don't tell people how, how hard it is to be myself on YouTube because I constantly feel like an imposter. I constantly feel like I'm being someone else. I constantly feel like I just don't fit in you. And I have my days where I cannot motivate myself to actually do anything because I just don't feel right. Me sitting here speaking about mental health, okay? my mental health videos that I've started doing, I feel like a total utter imposter. I feel like a fraud, okay? And the reason why is because I feel like I should be educated. I feel like I should be going to school to learn these mental health problems, better speak about them. Even though I'm speaking from personal experience and I, I still feel like I'm lacking in a lot of knowledge that I could share to you that I just can't share to you because I'm not qualified. And I feel like no one understands, like no one is going to watch these videos and no one's going to, no one's going to take anything from these videos because I'm not a qualified mental health person even though I'm giving you past experience and my experience of, of things in life and when you feel like an imposter and when you're going through these these episodes of feeling like an imposter no matter what you do no matter the work that you do no matter how much work you put into the these these essays these videos these the, your work in general no matter how much work you do and put in you just do not feel right you do not feel comfortable you do not feel like you are actually succeeding in anything no matter how much someone tells you that you are succeeding and no matter how much someone tells you you are doing you're achieving what you said you couldn't and no matter how much someone tells you you know well, your videos are helping me I still feel like I should not be here doing these videos because I just don't feel right I don't feel me I d even though it is me this is me this is this is who I am and this is what I want to do that I feel so comfortable and happy doing this but I still feel fake I still feel like an imposter and the reason why I'm pushing my mental health videos is because I want other people to realize that you know no mental health is not normal mental health is actually really horrible and it really destroys you inside and outside and ADHD as well like the topics I'm gonna be covering with ADHD it's freaking hard it's hard for me to speak about and I feel I just don't feel right but on another sense, I'm hoping that people who who are watching these videos, you for example, I feel like you should not be here. I feel like you should not be watching these videos. I feel like you should not be enjoying these videos because I just do not feel right being this person. I feel like I am I am faking this person even though I'm not. Like for example, some time ago someone asked me am I a qualified mental health nurse and I said no, but I felt like I needed to defend myself. I felt like I needed to be in defense, even though I could have just said no. I felt like I really needed to be in defense and be like, no, I'm not because, and you know, and kind of like tell you all the reasons and why I'm not. 
even though you're watching this video and the video is still helping you because they they commented back and say no problem I was just interested but your videos are helping me and I I feel like even though I'm even though I, people are enjoying these videos and even though people are taking stuff from these videos and even though people are, are appreciating these videos and I'm achieving something from these videos, I just still do not feel like I should be making these videos. And whenever anyone, com whenever anyone comments negativity or tells me I shouldn't be here making these videos, I immediately shrink and I, I, I feel like I, I, I shouldn't. I really feel like I shouldn't and I feel like I really shouldn't be making these videos because I'm not qualified and I I almost I stick up for you. I stick up for you. I, I believe you and I believe the words that you say because I know that it's true even though it's not true. And whenever I hit a new achievement on YouTube, a new milestone on, on subscribers, or my video hits a new milestone on views, or I get a load of comments saying this video has really helped me or your reaction is amazing, I feel I feel like an imposter all over again because now I'm faking the next level and I'm fake, faking the next achievement in life. It makes it hard for you to enjoy your successes because you don't agree with these successes, you don't see the successes, you don't realize the successes that you've, you're facing because you just want to move on to the next success. Because if you if you stop, if you stop and think, then you realize that you were really out of place here and you just want to keep going and not stop and think. And not, and not appreciate the achievement that you've just hit and not celebrate the achievement you've just hit. You just want to move on to the next achievement so that you you know that you're not failing. Because as, as soon as you uh, as soon as you know that you're successful in something, as soon as you, as soon as you see success or you show success, you just can't be proud. You just have to move on to the next success. You just have to keep going through through all the stages until you until you've burned yourself out because you can't you can't stop and look and realize of the success that you've hit because you feel like an intruder to it all. Like when you struggle with ADHD in general, you just feel like you don't belong. Like there, there's no other word for it. You just, you generally feel like you just don't belong. And when you've mixed it in with the imposter, you, you feel like everything that you're achieving just doesn't belong to you. And you, you can, you can mask it. We're, we're good at masking it. We're awesome at masking it. And we can we can totally totally lie to someone and show someone the achievements that we're making and fake it all if that's a sense like we can tell someone oh yeah I'm an adult or I, I you know I can tell someone oh yeah I'm really successful and they'll believe us of course they believe us but we start to believe it even though it's not true even though that we we struggle and even though that we we put in so much effort to get where we are so much effort like the amount of effort that we put in to make things perfect to make it excellent when it doesn't work it kind of feels relieving but it also makes you feel like crap obviously but when it works you you won't accept it you you fail to accept it because it doesn't feel right and when you've got like AD, ADHD like as I said you don't fit in you you know that you don't fit in you don't feel like you fit in in general and when you sit there in a workplace or in your home or in school you sit there and you look around and you you wish that everyone you every, you're seeing everyone else flying for their work or you're seeing everyone else just living so easily so stressful stress-free and just everything's just going so smoothly and you want to be them you want to fit in you want to you want life to be easy you want everything to be easy no matter how much you try you want everything to be easy and it's not it's really not and you you soon you soon fake it and you soon start pretending we mask and as soon as we mask and as soon as people start believing our mask we know that we fool these people and when when you know that you've masked it and when you know that you fool these people and you pretended to be these people you feel successful and your main goal is to fool these people your main goal is to fool it and when they believe it you, you fool them that that's that's your ultimate goal is to fool them and you've just done it and then you start to get this thought that yeah i've just fooled everyone i've just i've just fooled the whole entire room and now i've ruined it because i can't be my true self on youtube I put in every, every single bit of effort that I could possibly put in on YouTube and I feel like I have not, I feel like I've not accomplished anything. 
because I feel like I don't but I don't I feel like I don't deserve to I feel like I do not deserve to accomplish anything I I, I will not accept my achievements because I, I feel like I shouldn't I feel like I shouldn't I feel like I shouldn't be accepting these achievements I've never felt in life like I have ever deserved anything if I get a job I feel like I don't deserve it I feel like an error has been made I feel like something has gone wrong and I don't deserve to be here Dan, mine and Dan's relationship, my my relationship in in general, I feel like I don't deserve it because I feel like I it I I I don't know. It's hard to explain. Okay, this is what I'm doing. In this video is trying explaining it to someone, trying to trying trying to get other people to connect in why we feel this way when we really don't know how we feel this way what well, is it's hard okay living with adhd is hard and living with adhd and imposter syndrome is really hard because you will try your hardest and i mean your complete hardest and you will get rewards you will get achievements people will tell you that you're doing amazing people will say to you no matter what is going on you are doing amazing you will not accept it okay you will not accept it you feel like you're faking it you feel like you fooled everyone in that room to to say that you've achieved it but in reality in well in your mind you feel like you haven't achieved it you feel like you haven't succeeded in anything even though you have okay even though you have it, it's friggin hard it's impossible it's really stupid it's really annoying and i really wish it didn't exist i really did and i really wish i didn't have adhd i wish i didn't have I, I really wish I didn't have anxiety, I wish I didn't know or think, I wish I didn't go for all these mental health problems, but I do. And I'm making these videos for other people to know that it's okay. There's other people out here facing these problems with you. They, they, they are problems that can be treated. They are problems that can be diagnosed. They, can prob they are problems that can be helped. Okay, you are not weird <laughs> in any sort of way, no matter how messed up your mind feels, no matter how confused your mind feels, no matter how much you feel like you're faking your life right now, you're not, okay? This is your life and you are doing an amazing job at it. You, are, you really are doing an amazing job at it and you really are kicking ass and you really are achieving these achievements that you're getting, even though it doesn't feel like you are. So if you if if you do feel this way then i'm really sorry that you feel this way and please work on it work on it because you really do deserve everything that you get you really do deserve all the achievements that you hit and the sooner you realize that the better because the last couple of weeks i've been working on this and i've start slowly started realizing everything on youtube is actually worth it Okay, the last couple of weeks I've been really bad on uploading, I've been really bad on my channel, my Patreon, everything, okay, and it's all gone downhill, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, my YouTube channel, my Patreon, everything on my social media online, it's all gone downhill, okay, it, it's gone completely crap. And the reason why is because I feel like I don't deserve it. I feel like I do not deserve anything that I'm getting. Uh, once I hit like a certain milestone, I was like, I, 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 I got overwhelmed. Okay, I really got overwhelmed. I really didn't feel like I, I deserved any of this when I know that I do because I've worked so hard to get it. I've worked so hard to get where I am. I've worked so hard to achieve the achievements that I'm achieving. And I still feel like I, I do not deserve it. I still feel like I, I, I'm faking it all even when I'm not. Some days, some days I'll wake up and I'm gonna have an amazing day and I'll be motivated and I'll read good comments and every one of you who's telling me I'm doing amazing and congratulations, keep going and everything like that, they'll all sink in and they'll, they'll come a reality that it's like, wow, I'm actually doing amazing. But then I get bad days where I'm like, I don't see the point in continuing in continuing this because I'm not achieving. I, I'm faking, but I'm not. It, it's so confusing. Honest to God, I wish... It is so confusing. I just wish I could explain it a lot easier, but I really can't. And I don't know whether that's just because I'm really bad at explaining things anyway, or because it's hard to come to terms with this, or it's hard to ex explain something that you just don't understand yourself. So if anyone is struggling with these problems, then please get help, okay? Please get help. And you're all you're all amazing. You all are achieving stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. If you if there is anything that you want me to speak about, I suffer with ADHD my whole entire life. Um, 
and I'm fighting to get re-diagnosed because I got diagnosed in school and they just totally screwed it all up. So I'm fighting at the moment to get re-diagnosed with ADHD. I'm also fighting to survive anxiety. I'm also fighting to survive overthinking. You know, there's so much going on in my brain that I'm just trying to come to terms with. So yeah if you're here from my reactions i'm sorry that i've just been so slack but i hope this video will kind of help you understand why and where my head's been at yeah if you do have adhd though welcome i am going to start covering a lot of adhd topics um you know from diagnosis to problems that we face with adhd to relationships with adhd i'm going to cover a load of stuff with adhd but i'm also covering a load of stuff with um anxiety as well so if you do suffer with anxiety or adhd or you just want to check out my channel in general then i hope you enjoy and i'll see you on the next video it's been your girl and have a beautiful day